with sweat dripping off my bow after a bow <laughs> off my brow after a sprint from the east stage. I'm back here in the uh, comfortable air conditioning of the Viper Room. This is our acoustic stage here at the Sunset Street Music Festival, and I'm joined on stage by, by Jig Jams. Hi. 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 What's up, guys? Literally just pouring off my face. Yeah. You guys were already on the festival as well. You um, have a shimmery glow. It's lovely. You it's healthy. healthy. Yeah. You know? And we have refreshments right here. Katie from Pink Taco oh, wow. is going to give us shots. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Timing's perfect. This with is that. the best interview I've ever done. Yeah. What is well, it's not over yet. There be twelve shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What is this? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. What is this, Katie? You like it? Okay. Is there whiskey in it? Yep. A little wow. Bit. Thank you, Pink Taco and Katie. Cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. The yeah. LA Rock and Roll League SSMF. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Down the yeah. <laughs> That's funny. What? Cheers. See, you can tell this is a real rock band. Obviously not me, because... Oh. Was I not supposed to drink? You no, know, you're supposed to drink at all. That's how shots it's work. It's a shot, right? Yeah. It is a shot. All right. So, uh, have you gotten to see any music yet? I mean, the gate's only been open for a couple hours, but... We just got in. Yeah. We got yeah. here like 30 <laughs> minutes ago. Got to see some chips and salsa. They were really good today. This yeah, is like, but heard, I heard right? some music in the distance. <laughs> you've heard of chips and salsa now. The uh, yeah, the bike room turns into like the, the rock and roll bat cave today. It's like dark and cool in here. Yeah, it's perfect. Do you guys get annoyed that you are called kind of a indie super group? There are a lot worse things to be called. I've been True. called a lot worse things in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Still am, in fact. Because <laughs> um, you guys all had your first other first loves in terms of yeah. music. Is that yeah? Enjoy? We had other well, our first relationships. Yeah, our first yeah. musical relationships. I don't think we get annoyed, but I, it's yeah, maybe I a mean, little inaccurate. Yeah. Super group. Yeah. Indie. I like. I like that it's it's a an oxymoron. It's it's an indie right. super group. <laughs> For example, indie super group is is as weird as. Uh, Come on, guys, give me another way to play. I don't know what. Uh, Oxymoron? Yeah, yeah come uh, on. Help me out here. Uh, I had the best one. It was the best thing. Well, we'll come back to you. We'll, we'll come back to you on that one. Um, Think about that. Okay, so the evolution of the jams, though, it kind of started out as part of the Bud Jam project, would you say? Or did it, was it intentionally to be a band and like go out and play shows? Well, we wanted to be an indie super group. Yeah. <laughs> we said to what? be an indie super and group. I just, I just remembered my oxymoron. <laughs> yes. oh. And it is. Power balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That worked. Totally worth it. <laughs> I, I, well, we, I think we started out like cheating on our wives. And others. You yeah. Know, essentially really having some fun on the side. And then <laughs> some serious fun on the side. But yeah, yeah it turned in, I, I think it initially it was, we wanted it to be a band, but kind of all knew that it couldn't be right away, but Which, and that, nothing is more alluring than the forbidden love. I know, right? It's yeah. true. One day it makes things so much more exciting. But then you get divorced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you marry your mistress and you're like, oh and my then you God, she just wants like, to stay up all night, she constantly wants to have sex. Yeah. She's like, what do you do, you this know? Is tired. When did this happen? When did this happen? <laughs> Why don't we let's, let's run right down now. the line and, and say what other bands you've involved you're involved with and, okay. and introduce yourself so we all know. Uh, I'm Alex. I'm involved with the band Fans of Planet. <laughs> Deeply. I'm Jason and I played in Rilo Kylie and Bright Eyes. I'm Z and I was in the like. I'm Michael Ryan and I'm a solo artist. Who also played with Jenny Lewis. I played with Jenny Lewis and we elected and stuff. So there. Yeah. There. Okay. And now, uh, what, what in terms of uh, you guys play tonight? Yes. Obviously, what time? Uh, what stage are you? On the close to home stage. Close, close to home stage. Close to home stage. Forty-five. That's a ninety-eight-seven stage. Yeah, it, it is. certainly is. is. Things important things happen. Yeah, yeah. we love We're happy to be there. Yeah, I hope so. And the, we right as we end, ten minutes later, Marilyn Manson goes on. Not on that stage, but I'm excited to see. Yeah. Now, who else are you excited to see today? Uh family of the year. Our, our friends and friends, yeah. Really sick band. Marilyn Manson. I want to see some De La Soul. Yeah. And stay cool. Stay I want to see the mood. I want to see the mood. I want the mood to come out. Yeah. <laughs> I think, think that will happen. Yeah, I'd like to see the sun go away as quickly as possible. I know. Possible. Now, what's your what's your history? I guess you guys both each individually have your own stories with the Sunset Strip. Your own memories of playing here live. Maybe seeing different shows here over the years. Anything stand out? Yeah, I, when, I, yeah. Uh, when I was a teenager, I went to the Whiskey a couple of times. I saw Neurosis there. 
and final, I was in the punk music, so I saw like Final Conflict and all the these punk bands. And then I moved wow. here and, you know, started seeing, I actually, when I moved here, I started seeing all of their bands play, like, oh. the Roxy and whatnot. I saw uh, Rage and Happy Drive in at the Roxy Whoa. when I was like renting in. That's huge. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> kind of sick. That is awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. I saw the Afghan Wigs at the Whiskey and that was a great show. I, I saw Drive like Jehu at the Whiskey and I saw Mila Jovovich here. Plastic Has Memory. Great band. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was, thanks for the mics, guys. Yeah. I don't have the mic just for all of you out there not watching. Or, oh my gosh, there's too much pressure. All of the mics now in my face. It better be good. Uh, no, no, I forgot them in a safe an oxymoron. I saw, I saw a bunch of different secret shows on in Roxy Whiskey and Land, late like 90s. Maybe my favorite, because it was so weird, is the Beach Boys. Yeah. But Brian Wilson fronted by the or uh, fronting with the Wonder Bits playing at the uh, 99, 98. Yeah. Right. Very cool. And real quickly, how did you guys all come to play music together? How did you guys all meet and then form? There's games? no really quick answer to that question you just asked. I guess who met who met who first? Because the LA music scene is very tight. Are you trying tight. to start a competition right now? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want that me to get heated? Ian or you guys? You I think James, you and James. Oh, right James, our guitar player, who's not here, who's in Room Five, mm -hmm. and he's in South America doing guys' club. Um, we met in Anaheim, where I grew up, and he moved there from Nebraska. Okay. And so, yeah. In when the, was that? I would say ninety no, eight, nine. Is like that. that before? I'm at Alex when I was 13. Ago. So longer. So is that longer than Yeah, that? we have a longer one. So jump Wait, in there. Wow. So you and me are the longest? Yeah, tag. Wow, oh, I was 13 years old when I met Alex. I was a fan. So like three years ago. Um, yeah, <laughs> three years ago. <laughs> when I saw this Fan Planet show. I used to have Fan Planet, or actually Alex Greenwald solo sheet music on my piano. So, oh. Yeah, you saw, saw it. It was it. super embarrassing. Yeah. I like your We're in a band now. Thank you. Sorry, I'm distracted by his story. When yeah. did everything become official? Because you're signed to Dangerbird Records. Yep. And when, when did that happen? January. Oh, so recent. Very recent. Yeah, yeah, very recent. I think yeah, once, once everyone's band kind of went on hiatus or whatever happened to everyone else's bands, we started to mix the record and that took a little while. Not too long, but then we were like, oh, yeah, we can do this. Gain momentum and so yeah. The record has real thing. Like, been recorded over the last few years in a bunch of different studios, mm -hmm. and it kind of just all came together, and then suddenly it was, well, <laughs> suddenly it was done, and we were a band, and we were signed, and it was real.